We're rolling. I got the Bible open here. Good morning, Patrick. Oh. So, uh, I, I used to do a uh, Bible study with a couple of family members on Friday morning. Every Friday morning, seemed like a year or two, I don't know. I'd stop by McDonald's on the way and get, uh, some McDonald's, I miss that. But uh, I'll try to read a little bit here. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Pursue love and earnestly desire the spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy. Well, I don't know that I've ever prophesied. Have you ever prophesied? Hey Patrick, uh, do you is it okay for you to be on uh, YouTube? Is it okay for you? If is it, do you consent to be on YouTube if I put you on YouTube? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is Patrick. He just got himself some coffee. He just rolled right over there to that handy little coffee dispenser, and uh, Patrick comes to our Bible studies. And um, right, yeah. Uh, but uh, I think uh, Melanie will be having it on Friday. If you, if you weren't aware of that, to Friday on two thirty this week. So we'll see you there. And I'll I'll get back to it a little bit here. I I, I don't I, I may have had. Well, I can't remember a, a prophecy. Uh, but Paul says that he wants us to pursue love and earnestly desire the spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy. Well, is he talking to us? For one who speaks in a tongue speaks not to men, but to God, for no one understands him, but he utters mysteries in the spirit. On the other hand, the one who prophesies speaks to people for their upbuilding and encouragement and consolation. The one who speaks in a tongue builds up himself, but the one who prophesies builds up the church. Now I want you all to speak in tongues, but even more to prophesy. The one who prophesies is greater than the one who speaks in tongues, unless someone interprets so that the church may be built up. Okay, this is Paul speaking. And he says, now I want you all to speak in tongues. Paul wants all of whoever he's talking to to speak in tongues. Well, is he talking to us? And does he want us to speak in tongues? I don't know that I've ever done that. I know, uh, I think I had a mini stroke one time and it sounded like I was talking backwards. Uh, you don't think you have? I know I have. Well, Paul says Paul wants us to. Um, but even more than prophecy. No one is all speaking time, but even more to prophesy. Um, so he wants us to prophesy. Uh, well, we need some kind of Bible scholar to explain this to us. I guess that's what the Google's for. Now, brothers, if 
if I come to you speaking in tongues, how will I benefit you unless I bring you some revelation or knowledge or prophecy or teaching? If even lifeless instruments such as the flute or the harp do not give distinctive notes, how will anyone know what is played? And if the bugle gives an indistinct sound, who will get ready for battle? So with yourselves, if with your tongue you utter speech that is not intelligible, how will anyone know that it, what, what is said? For you will be speaking into the air. There are doubtless many different languages in the world, and none is without meaning. But if I do not know the meaning of the language, I will be a foreigner to the speaker, and the speaker a foreigner to me. So with yourselves, since you are eager for manifestations of the Spirit, strive to excel in building up the church. Therefore, one who speaks in a tongue should pray that he, be, that he may interpret. For if I pray in a tongue, my spirit prays, but my mind is unfruitful. What am I to do? I will pray with my spirit, but I will pray with my mind also. I will sing a, I will sing praise with my spirit, but I will sing with my mind also. Okay, I'm going to take a minute and try to understand that. <clears throat> 